Hello everyone, Callie here with another stream tech video for you today. Today I'm going to show you how to make those cool GIFs with audio that pop up and go away on people's streams that you've seen on Twitch. So, it's pretty easy. You gotta have a little tech knowledge, but if you follow along step by step, you should be able to do it just fine. So, I've got my image of my most popular one here. People request it all the time on my channel, which is John Cena Super Saiyan. So let's take a look. And this, what he doing is to go even further beyond. I use that when you get hyped. Uh, people really, really like this one. So I'm going to show you how to make stuff like that for your stream. First off, you need a stream deck from Elgato or equivalent software or hardware that has a very similar effect. Today we're explaining how to do it on the Elgato Stream Deck. So the first thing you want to do is go to Giphy. We're going to search for the Regret This Decision meme from Ron Burgundy. Just click this one, go here. Now you're going to right click it and then save image as, and then save it as a GIF, name whatever you want, put it in a place you can find it, put it in a place to where your computer is always going to be able to get to it for your stream setup. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is go over to myinstance.com and go find the sound we need. Not all sounds are here, but they have tons of sounds you could use. So, as you can hear... I immediately regret this decision! I mean, it's a little loud, so it's definitely one that uh, we're gonna wanna tone down a bit. But then you're gonna just download the MP3. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm gonna go over here to Streamlabs OBS my software of choice and we're gonna go here so the next thing we're gonna do is go and add them as sources so we're gonna click add source add a media source I'm going to add a new source I want to just call it uh, uh, Brett RB, Ron Burgundy, it's, it's fine, eh? whatever you want. Um, you're gonna go pick where the file is located at. And so this one is located um, in this SD vid file. And then you just navigate there like this. And then you just pick the file and hit open. Now you've got it there. I don't want this to loop, but I recommend that you set it loop when you're trying to place where it is on the screen. Okay? So, first thing you want to do, uh, if you have a folder of a bunch of these, like my names, put it there. Otherwise, for now, we'll just leave it here. Um, I'm going to open up my... I really need to go through my other ones, but we're going to open up the uh, John Cena Super Saiyan one. And we're going to just drag this over to where it belongs. Just kind of put it in the same spot. You can put it wherever you want on your screen. And I recommend right-clicking, transform, center horizontal. And then you can just move it up and down from there. So now that we have it in a good spot, we're going to hide the Super Saiyan. We're going to hide the Regret RV. So now they're gone from the screen. So the next step you want to do is go over to your stream deck. Um, obviously go to a blank spot. You can put it wherever you want. So, within this we have a soundboard play audio, Streamlabs OBS source you need to download, the appropriate plugin. You can go here and get, uh, more actions, get extra plugins. I've already got Streamlabs OBS installed, you'll have to go get that for your appropriate software. So, first thing we're gonna do, soundboard play audio. We're going to right click, create multi-action, You've got this here. You name it Regret. If you even want a name on it at all, you don't have to. I'm gonna go over here and look up Play Audio. And then back. Go find the file. It's right here. Regret the decision. Obviously, it was loud. We're gonna turn it down a notch. Now, the next thing that we need is our Streamlabs source. So, 
even want to, uh... Streamlabs... Ah! Streamlabs Source. Okay. So, from there, we're going to activate into the place you want. The Twitch overlay. Desktop recording. That's where I have mine set up. You'll have to go navigate to your collection, your scene, your source. So that's off the top. Regret. From Burgundy, it's going to activate it. Now here's where it comes in a little iffy. You just have a delay before it shuts it off. Make sure it plays the thing long enough. Um, here's that delay. So this one's like, I mean, 3500 milliseconds is probably fine. Then you could just copy that one, paste. We're going to test it, see if it works. And then we're going to deactivate the Ron Burgundy. So, now we've got a button. I should be able to go to my actual stream deck and hit it, and it should do the thing. I immediately regret this decision. Now, obviously, we don't want it to be looping, so we're going to stop that. Let's see if it's going to be good. I immediately regret this decision. Now, as you saw, there's a bit of delay. So, sometimes it is good to also put a delay in before your uh, source activates to make sure it lines up. I immediately regret this decision. Now I told it not to loop. So now you have to go adjust the delay <clears throat> timer. So put it at like 20, like 2500. It's a lot of trial and error here, everyone. I immediately regret this decision. Is that enough time? I immediately regret this decision. Seems like it's enough. So now, as you click it on your stream, it will do this. I immediately regret this decision. I might just uh, take the uh, delay out there, extend this by a little bit. Now, you guys will notice it's going to definitely take some trial and error to get this. I immediately regret this decision. I immediately regret this decision. That seems pretty good. So, we have a button set up. Well, how do I get the icon? How do I get the icon, Callie? Callie. Callie, how? Well, you can either load the GIF right onto it, and it will be an animated GIF on your thing. But I don't want the LCD constantly having to change things. So, we just upload a screenshot. So I've got a screenshot software called, um, stream screenshot software called Greenshot. Works really great. Highly recommend it. It's free. Free means it's even better than normal. We're just going to go save that onto our desktop, I mean, our folder, and we'll go to our file location, click the image, boom. There it is. Now, obviously, you want it to be more of a square if you want it to take up the entire spot. So you want to try to get it as close to a square as you can. And it will obviously make the uh, image a little, a little tighter. So let's uh, do that again. As you see, as you make it a square, it takes up more of your box. If you don't want that, you just want to see Ron Burgundy on your scene. And there you go. You got it. So now you see this on your stream deck. That's what it looks like actually on your stream deck button. I immediately regret this decision. And you see that? And it goes. And congratulations. You could do that for a whole ton of things. I've got bunches and bunches of them. So if this is something that was useful to you, and this improves your viewers' streaming experience, well, you just leave a like and comment down below. Consider viewing my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Kelly Chronicles. I stream there all the time. And I'll be happy to chat with you guys about stuff like this. 
So, I appreciate you guys stopping by today. Hope you have a great rest of the day. And I will see you next time.